what? There's one sitting on it, standing on it. In the sun or out of the sun? No. Welcome to South Island, New Zealand. I'm excited to be here. I arrived late last night into Queenstown and Barry Dodds of Dodsey's Hunting Adventure picked me up. We've been hunting together for years and I'm excited to be back hunting with him, educating me on a bull tar trip. But uh, we headed two hours northeast towards Christchurch onto a 170,000 acre ranch and uh, we're set up to have an adventure of a lifetime. So we're gonna lace up, head up into the craggies and see if we can't find ourselves a big hairy bull tar. stock. We've got uh, several bulls spotted up on the hill. Let's see if we can make something happen here. Down. We did a big climb and we got up above them and there was quite just a mob of uh, tar there, a lot of bulls. They were so busy eating, you know, it's after the rut and they're really um, thin and uh, it played to our advantage because we bumped them once off the top, you know, I got some uh, about 30 yards away, we stepped right up on top of them and you s you'll probably get to see them jump off the ledge there. And uh, it was crazy how they run straight down the mountain. 
but they got um, into the green and they forgot all about us and we were able to uh, work our way down and eventually get a steady rest and take a nice bull so we're on our way down trying to get a look at him but uh, super excited that we got wow. the tar. Wow look at how heavy he is. Beautiful. Holy mackerel guys. Good job. What an absolutely gorgeous animal. Thank you so much Croc. Very appreciate it very much guys. It is a beautiful bull. Yeah, yeah that's a nice him. bull. Huh? He's got a really big hook on him. Yeah. He's a it is. He'll actually score as well. I never expected him to be so heavy. I mean, he's really got some mass. That's and exciting. He's, he's pretty too. That is beautiful. Cat. Yeah, this fur is crazy. Look That's what that. you wanted. We get um, people will miss him because in the mating season they make the hair stand on end. You get eight inch, ten inches of hair and tell them to shoot. On the back line, and they shoot up here. You got to make sure they shoot in the middle. Poof! <laughs> it's like cotton balls. It burns that hair off. Yeah. Front lead, straight up. Yeah, they are gorgeous. It's crazy. I, I don't think I've ever seen an animal that can bolt downhill like that before. Oh yeah. Pretty cool, right? I mean, honestly, with a helicopter, if you get near them, they'll just about outrun it. It's crazy. They go over a forty-foot bluff and land on their feet. Wow. You know, he's, he's a lot bigger. I, I'm just really impressed by him. You, early season, we can't move them around much. Yeah, they're so big. Yeah. Oh, really? Just their weight? Before they yeah, head people, to the tops. Yeah. Wow. People will say, oh, you know, we'll just drag them up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Those of you who have never seen it before, this is what a tea tree looks like. It actually smells fantastic, and the it's thick in here. I. Uh, I've been stripping it off with my <laughs> every sharp corner on my body, but uh, it actually grows real thick and uh, obviously everyone loves the oils in the U.S. So this is what the tree looks like if you've never seen one before. Barry and I uh, we climbed up in here after uh, trying to get close on a couple of bull tar this morning, and uh, we've we've actually picked up tar pretty much all the way along the hike. And uh, there's a mob in here. It's got to be at least a hundred. But uh, if you ask me, it's absolutely the best tar hunting in the world, and uh, you got to try it. Uh, the views keep changing every uh, time we walk in. And uh, it just doesn't get any better than this. So start booking your trip to New Zealand.